ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports Sunday. I'm Julian Gibson coming to you from beautiful Red Bears North Angeles, where my dad, the late Frank Hanna, Red Bears Snapper Fishing Tournament wrapped up yesterday with Jim Knowles capturing the championship at a total of 100. I enjoy in this moment to beat Mark, he knows my brother and Tim Dames. I delighted to beat them. I like the challenge, you see. Boy, how rough it was out there today, because everybody had their problems, whether it's the engine or better condition. How rough it was out there? Difficult, rough, really bad. And we will feel discouraged, but I tell my partner, you know, we in the tournament, so we can't give up. Whether we catch one or two, we're still in the tournament. And you look at uh, what you call it, you satisfied with the motor fish? I think so, because of the weather. What's the largest snapper you caught? Uh, I don't really know. I stuck around. I was too happy. <laughs> yeah. But it feels good beating Marky. I tell you all the way, all the time. <laughs> but he ain't let you win it. He, he can't do run with me. He's scared of me too, you see. Still in sporting news from Andrews. How about Mango Heat Class 3 regarder? Let's check in with our captain, Charles Leonard Fisher. The captain Moxie came in loaded Friday morning with sailing fans and sloops. 14 boats lined up Saturday as all three races were on the schedule. And that's because rough seas and winds above 20 knots didn't allow them to sail on Friday. Seas a bit still, rough and winds blowing and it would cost most of the boats. Taking the first series race was Dream Girl followed by Barbarian and Melba B. In the second series race, the cannon going to Lady Eunice, Dream Girl and Melba B in that order. But in this race, three sloops received damage and did not finish. In the final series, only seven boats would complete. The race won by Lady Eunice, coming in second was Melba B and third, Revelation. So when all the points were tallied, Revelation was fifth, Barbarian fourth, Dream Girl third, Lady Eunice second, and the champ out of Mangrove Key, Melba B. We wasn't letting no Exuma boat come in Mangrove Key to win nothing. We wasn't letting... Not this time. Forecast was 15 to 25, and it was throughout the weekend. So you know the Melville B was built for rough seas, and we know that small craft usually stay in port. And we knew that we had an advantage going into anything over 15 to 25, the Melville would be built. We would be there. One point, Fisher, one point. And uh, we had a, a hookup or mishap with uh, Aaron Goodnight, and we tried to come back, but the race is too short for us, sir. Finish catch him up to get back to back to back in uh, Mango Peak. Regarda Commodore David Rowell happy with the turnout. Very successful Regarda. We had quite a bit of boats came down as much as I mean we could have brought down this time based on what our budget was able to give us this time. But um, the wind was a bit strong so we didn't have all the boat participating as we would want to but you know that's just the nature of the business. Now most of these boats that were damaged now have to make men's quick as three regattas are on the seas for the Labor Day with Monday holiday weekend. For ZNS Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. Thanks much Fisher. Up next on the sailing calendar will be Long Island Regatta and South Angeles Regatta. Those two regattas will take place Labor Day weekend. From the softball beat, the New Providence Softball Association opening up their season last night at the Bank of Softball Field. My little sis, Kelsey Johnson, has a call. From the first pitch to the last at bat, it was all about the Johnson Lady Truckers. The defending champions of the New Providence Softball Association continued with their winning ways by showing the hard mouth Sunshine Auto Wildcats that last year's season win was no fluke, beating them on Saturday 11-3. Yes, it was a very good game. Competitive, love the camaraderie. It's good to be back um, to win the first game of the season and looking to go to the end of the season with the same way, playing with some new girls. Everybody just gelling together and just having fun. The Lady Truckers are coming for the whole hog. Even though it is still early in the season, they strongly believe that they can get the job done. Like I say, we got some strong hitters. Everybody just getting back into it. So. Next game, we can be on top of everything. The Never Say Die Wildcats brushed off the season opener loss as a lesson learned. They now know that they will have to get their claws dirty to win the title. Um, I think our team just needs to cut down on our errors and overall just play the softball game that we know how to play and just work hard and practice hard and everything will come together. Truckers were making a lot of errors tonight but you weren't able to capitalize. Why was that? 
just we need to come out to practice more so we can jump more. And the more we practice, the better we become as the season goes on. Kelsey Johnson, Sadness Total Sports. For us all the time for Sports Sunday, once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Special thanks, as always, to my hardworking cameraman, Dennis Gomez. Stay tuned. The weather forecast is still to come.